ओम शांति सिक्स जून 2018 वेनेस्डे टुडेज ब्लेसिंग इज मे यू ट्रांसफॉर्म यूर सेल्फ विथ वोल्कैनिक रिमेम्बरेंस फ्रॉम अ ब्रमिन टू एन एंजल एंड देन टू अ डेटी वेन समथिंग इज पुट इन टू फायर its name form and quality changes in the same way when you are put into the fire of love of the father's remembrance you are transformed from a human being to a brahmin and then from a brahmin to an angel and then to a deity just as clay is put into a brick mold and put into fire and it becomes a brick so this transformation takes place in the same way this is why remembrance is called to be is said to be volcanic so baba is telling us to have volcanic remembrance and he is giving two examples when something is put into fire what happens everything changes the name the form and the quality again in that he is citing the example of a clay when the clay is put into furnace it turns into brick so this is a transformation that happens in the similar manner when you are put into the furnace of remembrance everything should change the name the form the quality fire has this ability to burn everything to change everything to transform things so this yoga should become burning furnace this yoga should become bhatti this yoga should become something that extinguishes that burns to ashes everything which is in the past just as things when put into fire everything changes name form quality in the similar manner when something is put into fire as everything changes in the similar manner this remembrance should change everything all the past memories sanskars habits everything now the only thing is that this fire should remain burning all the time baba is giving the example of volcano there are three types of volcano the first volcano is active volcano where there is a recorded volcanic activity in recent past the second is dormant or inactive volcano a volcano which has got potential to become active but has not shown any volcanic activity in recent past so that is known as inactive or dormant volcano the third is extinct volcanoes extinct volcanoes are those which have not erupted from a very 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 long time but there is a proposition supposition that this is a volcano and it can erupt but there is no recorded historic volcanic activity so baba is telling us that we should have active volcanic remembrance not the inactive ones inactive means it's no more active in the past sometime it was active and extinct there are some souls who have become extinct volcanoes there is no recorded spiritual activity from last from very long time so that is known as extinct so what we have to become is active volcano active volcanoes you know when the volcano erupts lava comes out magma is inside and different gases come out 
so how to keep this volcano active how to keep this fire burning all the time how to have this remembrance as a volcano what are we going to do what we should do we often hear in murlis that your remembrance should be volcanic jwalamukhi but there are so many factors that don't allow us to have this jwalamukhi or volcanic remembrance so we need to do something to keep this fire burning in bible in somewhere it is written in leviticus 6:24 let the fire on the altar keeps on burning all the time let this fire let this flame for love of god remain burning all the time there is something known as fire and when that fire becomes visible it is known as flame so we should have rather than using the word fire the better word is flames the visible flames of fire so in the similar manner in order to have this remembrance as active we need to do certain things the first thing to do is remove all the fire extinguishers there are certain things certain fire extinguishers they come and they put out the fire so the first thing to do to keep the flame burning the first thing to do to keep the fire ignited all the time is remove the fire extinguisher remove this there are certain things in our lives which work as fire extinguisher what are those things try to find out we are doing good yoga or we are going ahead in purusharth and suddenly a fire extinguisher comes and the fire is put out what are those fire extinguishers what are those disturbances is it a person is it circumstances is it a some paper some obstacle some sight seeing some bottleneck what it is or some habit so there is some fire extinguisher which is there which try to extinguish this volcano so what we have to do is remove all the fire extinguishers identify the fire extinguishers and remove the fire extinguishers first thing to do is this second thing to do is bond with those who are carrying fire bond with those people who are carrying fire associate with those people who are burning with the flame keep the company of those souls who are on fire for love of god so that will be the second thing which we have to do in order to keep this volcano in order to keep this flame in order to keep this fire burning all the time so that this fire should appear as flames flames the third thing is keep on putting the wood which wood the woods of purity keep on putting the woods of purity so that the fire keeps burning all the time checking and rechecking the subtle powers of purity help you to keep the fire a flame a blaze the moment purity is reduced the mu- moment purity wanes fire becomes less so if you want that this flame this fire should remain burning all the time keep on putting the woods of purity and then 
there are many other things increase intake what they say increase intake of words of god again in bible somewhere it is said the words of jesus christ keep you a flame a blaze the words of god keep you a blaze keep on increase this intake of words increase the intake of mahavakya increase the intake of knowledge so that gyanagni so that the fire of knowledge is burning all the time it's only and only when the fire of knowledge reduces that we become dull so increase knowledge increase words increase intake then something known as tyag something known as vairag and something known as tapasya these all things act as oxygen unless and until these th- three things are not there vairag tyag and tapasya you cannot expect to have volcanic yoga the person who is attached to this world the person who is attached to is attracted to things objects properties or prosperity of this world attraction of this world cannot hope to have volcanic yoga the first thing to have which is of paramount importance is that burning vairag we don't want anything of this world this world has lost its glory this is not our world this is not our kingdom in yesterday's murli baba said this india has become ill diseased the india has become poor insolvent this is the presence of state rav rav hell the hellish flames are coming out everywhere so this is the state of the world forget this world we hear so many times in murlis for this is not our world this is false world and false maya chuti maya and chuti kaya this kaya this body is just an appearance of beauty but it is full of ugliness so have that burning have that ignited vairag within unless and until such ignition of vairag is there fire cannot turn into conflagration conflagration is a big fire huge fire a fire that would burn to ashes the entire city and such fire should remain ignited within us so much so that that the fire goes out through the windows and the doors and it also ignites the houses which are near about the houses of consciousness so vairag tyag the more the renunciation the more the fire tapasya without tapasya this fire cannot sustain there should be a continuous tapasya there should be a non stoppable tapasya going on within because if you want this fire to continue burning all the time then without these things tapasya cannot happen a uh, fire cannot stay burning so other thing is set your faith ablaze revise your faith in one of the avyakta murli in 1972 baba said 
Now you are revising all the murlis. But revise your purusharth. Revise your praptis, your attainments. Revising murli is quite easy. Open the murli and start reading the murli. <coughs> Revising murli, but revise purusharth. Revise attainments. So, keep the flay, faith aflame. For that, you need to revise your faith also. Faith in all the three things. Faith in Baba and faith in Rama and faith in ourselves. So, in order to have fire, in order to have that ignition, in order to have that flaming yoga, in order to have volcanic yoga, in order to have such powerful yoga which burns to ashes all the past, which burns to ashes all the negativity, which burns to ashes everything which is not Srimad, all the habits which are against Brahmin life, we need fire. Without fire, nothing is going to happen. The very purpose of bhatti is change, is transformation, where the clay is put and it comes out as brick. Such spiritual fire, spiritual ignition, spiritual furnace, spiritual bhatti is needed. And for that, we need to create it ourselves. Others are not going to create, because we need to create it within ourselves within our own chetana, within our own consciousness. Such a fire should be a flame all the time. Where we see vera, where see we see tapasya, where we see tyag, and where all the other things go away. As we had discussed some time back, always imagine that I am surrounded by that orbit of fire if this is the soul this is the fire of knowledge jnanagni this is the fire of purity fire of purity fire of brahmacharya this is the fire of tyag this is the fire of tapasya this is the fire of vairag this is the fire of love of god Associate with those souls, as mix with, bond with those souls who are burning in the love of God. For them, love of God is above every other love. Those who are attached to the human relationships, those who are considering somebody as uncle and auntie and caught in that quagmire, in that daldal of relationships and living a life of slavery. Keep away from them. Live with those people who are burning in love for God. A flame in love for God. So, love of God. Lagan. All the interest. All the focus only towards God. Have these saptagni. Have this seven types of fire burning all the time. And the most important of these fires, I'll say, is fire of knowledge. Increase the knowledge. Suck those murlis. Get soaked in those murlis. Absorb those murlis. Imbibe those murli to the extent that you become the very embodiment of those murlis. So, create a spiritual furnace within and burn inside. Om Shant.